A question of character. Ryu Hayabusa is the bluest ninja to ever exist. No one can beat him because he said so. Even your father, even daddy. You don't control my father, you stupid clown nose. Slice. Ryu never removes his ninjutsu uniform, ever. Even within a CIA meeting room, Ryu remains ninja. Ryu is on a mission of vengeance. One day, his father left a message revealing that he has left to fight a life or death duel. Ryu will get his revenge. However, Ryu does not even know if his father was successful during his life or death duel. It does not matter. Ryu will get his revenge. That is good because his father lost. Ryu will get his revenge. He will quest to America to find the archaeologist Walter Smith as his father has instructed without a map. But if Walter Smith is in America, then Ryu will find him. Ryu is injudiciously brave. He runs the city streets without shoes. He will travel anywhere without shoes. The blistering cold cavernous mines. The local bar. No shoes, no service, no way. Slice. He will murder bar patrons. Ryu will get his revenge. Fortunately, American bars do not enforce aggravated assault laws. Unfortunately for Ryu, American bars do not enforce aggravated assault laws. Ryu calls this random female patron just a girl and to get out of here because he is busy getting his revenge. This is not your bar, Ryu, but this is your bullet. Ryu's eyes say ouch. Ryu expresses his emotions through scowl, anger, shock, and trust. Ryu is unlike regular ninjas because he dons a rather baggy cowl that shags over his entire face. Ryu's ninja outfit is threaded with the finest and most durable of Hayabusa cotton. It will protect his body from enemy assault. However, when Ryu is injured, he will do the hunch. Ryu does the hunch. Ryu performs a masterful somersault. Ryu has toned his arms to an incredible degree, and he wants everyone to know it. I thought ninjas didn't carry guns. Well, this one does. Ryu performs the sticky climb. He will not move unless to jump and again become sticky. Ryu only performs a regular climb when ladders are available. Otherwise, no. Ryu wields the Dragon Sword, a treasured weapon which his Hayabusa clan has guarded for generations. It is the dominant weapon. The Dragon Sword destroys bullets, balls of fire, devil dogs, and your face. Upon traveling to America without a map, a car, or shoes, Ryu finds Walter Smith at his wooden style retreat home through pure ninja energy. Instinct. And within America, Ryu will learn of a 700-year-old demon, a fiendish plot to bring about world chaos through demonic toys, and how much he hates the American Falcon. Americans are already familiar with the bothersome Falcon and its notion to impede on all of our daily parkour activities. Ryu is not, but he will be. However, he will fight them and fight them until he finally kills them. They're back. Besides the dragon sword, Ryu will obtain weapons that he will be able to utilize through spirit power. His spirit must be strong to throw a shuriken. Ryu will use the jump and slash, the art of the fire wheel, and the golden windmill star, which is awesome and makes you look awesome. And he will receive these powers by murdering butterflies, sweet birds, and tarantulas. Because inside of those sweet birds are ninja weapons. Your sacrifice will provide me with a ninja star Precious bird. Slice. Ryu will slay the reject street boxer. Surprisingly, as unbeatable as Ryu claims he is, he finds himself compromised and indeed beaten, or possibly beaten, many, many times. Through trap doors, stolen statues, dive bar pistols, and these stupid fuck. Even his father protects him from certain death 
by taking a demon bullet to the chest while Ryu is frozen with unbeatable fear. This is after Ryu saved his father from the warlock Guardia de Mu, or Guardian of Better, also known as Jacques Ryu, or the King of Devils, that had Ryu's father, Ken Hayabusa, under control, or his bitch. Ryu is no one's bitch. Look at these arms. Ryu learns of the maniacal plan of Jacques Ryu and their whereabouts after being captured by a CIA special auxiliary unit led by a man named Foster and because this CIA special auxiliary unit only performs request by way of pistol Ryu is forced to South America and learns a crash course in skydiving. Ryu will defeat Jacquio's Malice 4, the Bar Barbarian, Bomber Basaque, and his father's dual opponent Bloody Maw. Also, besides Falcons of Madness, Ryu will do battle with Mercenaries of Madness, Crazed Panthers of Madness that, wait, what the hell? And other people of Madness, like Jason of Madness. Ryu destroys them all and is set to rescue the woman that shot him in the back because, hey, she gave him a statue. And after destroying a 2,000 year old Amazonian castle of evil that apparently no residents of South America have ever taken notice, Ryu embraces his unknown shooter that receives CIA special auxiliary unit information to kill him. And it is there that he is once again Fortunately for Ryu, she decides that life on this 3,000 foot high pillar is not so bad, and even offers Ryu her name, Irene Liu. And finally, it is here that Ryu stands as the unbeatable Hayabusa clan ninja that his ah! Next episode, what's more dangerous than a dragon with flames, a dragon with Bubbles. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Oh, character.